Today we're in 2019 Honda Pilot. We're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is what our hitch looks like on the back of our vehicle. You can see the cross tube is completely hidden behind our bumper fascia. It's going to help maintain a nice clean look on the back of the vehicle. It's going to be a Class 3 hitch, so it's going to work great with all of your Class 3 accessories. It's going to give us a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening with a reinforced collar to give us a little extra stability on our receiver tube. Our hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to use a standard 5 8 inch hitch pin. It does not come with a hitch, however, it can be found here at eTrailer.com. We're going to have rolled steel style safety chain loops. You can see it has plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. One thing I like about this hitch, I really like about this hitch, is the finish. It's going to have a triple carbide black powder coat finish, unlike some of the others that may only have a single coat. This one's really going to hold up well against chipping, scratching, and rust and corrosion. As far as weight capacities go, we're going to have a 900 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube, 6,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight's going to stay the same at 900 pounds. Trailer weight's going to go up to 8,000 pounds. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of your Honda to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. As far as the installation goes, it's a very simple installation. You're going to use existing weld nuts in the frame rails. It's going to come with all the necessary hardware. The one suggestion I would like to make is to have an extra person to help lift the hitch into place. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, it's going to be about 3 inches. This number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against your vehicle. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube, it's going to be about 15 inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we need to do to start our installation, go ahead and remove your spare tire. We're going to be using three existing weld nuts on the bottom of each frame rail. That's a good idea because these are open to the elements. Go ahead and spray some lubricant in there. Use a nylon tube brush and clean the threads. What we don't want is we don't want our bolts to cross thread and cause an issue with those weld nuts. Now with the next set of hands, we're going to raise our hitch into position. We're going to take our hex bolt conical tooth washer. I'm going to make sure that the teeth are facing up towards the hitch. We'll get one installed on each side to hold our hitch in place while we install our remaining hardware. Next we'll take a 22 millimeter socket. We're going to tighten all of our hardware and then we're going to torque it to the specifications and the instructions. Once you're done installing your hitch, you can reinstall your spare tire and you're ready to go. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Honda Pilot.